Hello, welcome to E-Prime this evening. I am Deidran. Harry Belafonte has died. Belafonte died Tuesday at his home in the Upper West side of Manhattan. He was 96. According to Ken Sunshine, his longtime spokesman, the cause of death is congestive heart failure. The legendary singer, actor, civil and human rights activist stormed to the top of the charts and smashed racial barriers in the 1950s with his highly personal brand of folk music. <laughs> Harry Belafonte Jr. was born in Harlem to Jamaican parents. He briefly lived in Jamaica with his grandmother. TikTok ban for Jamaica is false. The banning of popular social media site TikTok by the Jamaican government is just not true. The fake star publication circulated yesterday and had users on the site in an upheave. Today, Information Minister Robert Nesta Morgan said there are no plans to ban the use of the app in the island. I'm Robert Nesta Morgan, Minister of Information. So I realize that I see some posts on TikTok saying that the government is going to ban TikTok. I want to assure everybody that that is not true. We have no plans to ban TikTok. As a matter of fact, we are big users of TikTok. Prime Minister uses TikTok, I use TikTok. This, the, the, the star screenshot that you see is actually not true. The star never did a story that the government of Jamaica is planning to ban TikTok. So I just want to assure all TikTok users from Jamaica, don't follow fake news, not no gusso. The fear surrounding the banning of TikTok comes on the heels of reports that lawmakers in the United States, Europe and Canada have escalated efforts to restrict access to TikTok. The app that is owned by a Chinese company, ByteDance, which sees many countries restricting use by government workers citing security threats. However, TikTok has denied allegations that it put sensitive users' data into the hands of the Chinese government. Shaggy hands over funds to Bustamante Hospital. The controversial $100 million raised by the Shaggy Make a Difference Foundation in 2018 from the last staging of Shaggy and Friends Benefit Concert has finally been released to facilitate upgrades at the Bustamante Hospital for Children in St. Andrew. According to the foundation, the money has since been sitting in an interest-generating bank account as using it for other than it was intended would contravene the provision of the charity. In 2001, Shaggy adopted the Bustamante Hospital, making personal donations and several benefit concerts, raising more than $400 million towards various needs for the facility. No, 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 that's not a hot new single from Drake and the Weeknd. That's actually an AI. Music fans were left in disbelief last week when it was realized that the track Cart on My Sleeve was an AI production. The track went viral a few hours following its release across streaming and social media platforms, but was pulled once its origins were revealed. The track has also set off alarm bells for Drake and The Weeknd's labor owner Universal Music Group that invoked copyright violations to get platforms to take down the track. Heart on My Sleeve generated thousands of dollars in royalties across streaming platforms, which are being withheld. I'm Deidre reporting for E-Prime. Thank you for watching.